We do have one final pop oh. for you guys. Best Oscar prediction. This category goes to none other than Matthew Cherry. Back in 2016, <laughs> Matthew posted an image on Twitter and wrote, guys, 2016, he writes, oh, go back so I can see it. There we go. Any 3D artists follow me? I got an Oscar-worthy short film idea. Oh, wow. 2016, he writes that, and guess what? He sure did. He and producer Karen Rupert Tolliver took home the Academy Award last night. Congratulations. Yes, he did. And he is joining us now live, Matthew Cherry, Karen Rupert Tolliver. Come on out and join us. Congratulations. Hey. Congratulations. Congratulations. Hey. Congratulations. Hey. So happy to be here. You know it. I love that. Oh my gosh. You have been dreaming of this moment. What was it like to be on that stage last night? Um, it, it felt like a dream, you know. Um, it still doesn't even feel real when it's sitting in my hand right now, you know. Uh, a lot of people out there, they got a clock that literally counts down to zero, and you got to get your thoughts out ASAP or they're going to play you off. You can't imagine that pressure. From the NFL to the Oscar. Yeah. Oh, yes. Love it. Yes. Love it. Thank you guys. And Karen, you're the first black woman to ever win in this category. Uh -huh. Congratulations Animation. to you. Animation crew. And, and go. And as Matthew just pointed out, animation, period. Yeah. yeah. Yes. What went through your mind when you heard your, your name called? I mean, again, we kind of blacked out. I mean, it was just such a yeah. surreal experience. But I just knew that this was bigger than me and Matthew, that yeah. this was a moment about diversity, and we really wanted to kind of represent for everyone. And a very special guest with you all on mm -hmm. the red carpet, that young man, yep. Texas senior, who was going to be barred from graduation because mm -hmm. he wouldn't cut his dreadlocks. Mm -hmm. You invited him to be with you there on the red carpet. Hair love. Yep. Hair love. Yep. What was yep. that like, having him there? Yep. Um, you know, for us, you know, he really represents all the messages that we were trying to get across in the film. You know, uh, the power of being yourself, and he took a stand for himself. You know, school wanted him to either cut his locks or not graduate, and he chose not to uh, do it, and he took a stand, and the least we could do was honor him by bringing, yeah. bringing him out to the biggest night in Hollywood, showing him a good time, and showing him that everybody has his back. Good. How'd you celebrate? <laughs> we just like to carry this. It's very heavy, by the way. <laughs> you got it engraved, right? We went to a lot of parties. It's and engraved. We got to uh, meet. Yep. It is engraved. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh, yeah. 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 Let's we'll start great. meeting. Uh, I think Jay Z was my favorite. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's how you feel now. Yeah. And Beyonce, actually. Uh, yeah. yeah, we met J and B yet last night. Oh, look, J and B. Oh, J and B now. Okay. Yeah. 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 Hey, they're together. <laughs> hey, you're Oscar winners. You can call whatever you want. That's right. Hey, thank congratulations. You. Thank you both, and congratulations. Mm. So happy. <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.